Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and I will be doing the read here for you guys. And I hope you're having a good day. Good day, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching me. So what's going on here with Pisces? Oh, and by the way, uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You know, the real New Year isn't January 1st. You guys know the real New Year is, is the 10th, tomorrow, Chinese New Year's. What's going on with Pisces? Pertho. Pertho. Well, now, I don't mind Pertho, uh, especially when it's in the upright. Uh... This is talking about something that you don't know, Pisces. This is something unknown. What else is going on here with Pisces? So we have Awas. Awas, this is the death rune. So something new is starting, and it is New Year. Things are going to start turning around now, now that it's the actual 2024. And what else is going on here with Pisces? <clears throat> and if you're new here, you guys, welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you. Oh, let's get another one here. Elhaz. Elhaz. Algis, Elhaz. This is protection. So whatever the case is, Pisces, you're very well protected, okay? These are horns. If you're curious of to, yeah, these are little horns. And so you're protected. Oh, Pisces. Fehu. Fehu. Wow. Everybody likes Fehu. Fehu talks about money. It's also talking about health. So, you know, if you've been sick, you're going to be getting better. <laughs> I already feel better. I'm still kind of sick, but, you know, at least there's no fever, so, <clears throat> yeah. So, Fehu is talking about um, improved health, and it's also talking about improved money. So, it's going to be a, it's gonna be kind of a little thing, a little of both, I'm really thinking, Pisces. Well, now this is uh, El has again. Wow, you know, Pisces, you are divinely protected. <clears throat> yeah, when you get El has twice like that, I mean, you're you're very well protected, and this is some sort of security. This money here, this this um, uh, Fehu, this could be some something secure, something that you know protects you. So, like a security blanket, something that will protect you. It could be something like that. <clears throat> huh. Now that's interesting. You got Pertho in reverse. You know, I'm feeling that this is brushing off onto the energy that's next to it. I have to get the other, I got to get another ring. Because <clears throat> for some reason, Pisces, I don't see this for us. We have this. This is us. This is 
This is ref a reflection from someone else. <clears throat> So we have Vinguas. This is Aquarius energy. You know, you could be dealing with, uh, you know, an Aquarian Pisces. All right. Yeah. This Aquarian uh, could be somewhat in. Uh, this this Pertho is next to this Aquarian energy. So I, I can't really tell yet. I got to get more. <laughs> yeah, there is, uh, uh, Pisces. So we have Rido. Huh. So Rido is talking about some travel. So, you know, maybe you're planning to travel or maybe this person that is right here in your energy is going to be traveling or thinking about traveling or moving forward with something. Rido is forward movement. So it doesn't necessarily have to be travel. It could be moving forward with something. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, so we have Urus. Urus is strength, okay, Pisces. And, you know, and this is definitely you too, Pisces. You know, this is strength. This is, you know, your raw strength um, to carry on. Yeah. Something to that nature. I don't know. Let's get some tarot cards out and see what else. Kind of just curious, you know. We have the Knight of Cups. Interesting. You know, this, this is, um, this could be some sort of love. It doesn't have to be romantic love, but it definitely can be because I see a red rose right here. All right. I see a white rose too. The white rose represents purity and innocence. Um, the red rose, you know, can indicate passion. So yeah, this could be a uh, new love coming in for someone. All right. But, you know, I haven't got done pulling all the cards yet, so I'm not sure <laughs> what's going on with Pisces. Uh, so you have the seven of, seven of Wands. Looks like you're building up a wall or something to protect yourself. Um, but, you, don't, you know, Pisces, you're protected. You know, really, I'm fe I'm feeling that this could be someone else too. I don't know. It's just kind of weird energy the way I'm feeling that. I feel like somebody's taken over your read because some of this doesn't really. I, I don't know. Haven't jived with me yet. What's else going on with Pisces? Huh. So you have the Eight of Wands. Huh. So this is some sort of communication. The Eight of Wands is indicating some sort of communication. Um, it could be, you know, any kind of communication. It could be on the computer. It could be an email. Um, it could be a text. Huh. Why is the Knight of Cups there? Hmm. Nine of Swords. Wow. See, look, look at this here, Pisces. I'm looking at this right here. See, see this, this Nine of Swords is talking about um, there, whoever, this is up in your head, self. But you know, I don't see anything like that in your rings. I, I see, I see um, Pertho here in reverse. This is this person, I believe that. 
I don't think this is your energy. I think this person loves you, Pisces. And they're up in their head about you and they don't know what, they don't know how to approach you. Yeah, I think that's what the deal is. Why is, why is this here? Uh, seven of Swords. Yeah, see, you know, the Seven of Swords is kind of sneaky energy, you know. I see, you know, maybe they kept something from you. And now they're like, huh? Yeah, they kept something from you, Pisces. And maybe you, uh, you know, had walked away from some sort of a deal on that. But I don't think that this is you. I feel that this is somebody else's energy, okay? Yeah, it could be an Aquarian. You know, swords are kind of like Aquarian energy as well. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Page of Wands. It's just like what I was saying. As soon as I laid this card down, I was like, it felt like it was somebody else. And this is like... Um, the page of wands is is starting something new okay and so i feel that this person may want to start something uh, start over with you in some sort of sense of means um and they want to contact you um yeah and they're just trying to cover them they're trying to protect themselves or something from something but they kept something from you, Pisces. So, you know, I don't know what the deal is on that. It's kind of weird. Why is that here? The chariot. Forward movement again. The chariot. So, this person wants to move forward with you in some sort of way, they're going to try to contact you. You probably are going to hear from this person, uh, Pisces. Um, yeah. And the thing about it is, is, you know, I don't know yet. I got to get more cards. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Page of Swords. Ah. So I think this person's watching you, Pisces. I, I really do. I do. Didn't we get that yesterday? I think we did. I don't think I showed it on the screen, but I definitely saw it when I was flinging the cards out. And then we have the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> so, you know... Um, yeah, this person wants to contact you. This person is watching you, Pisces, and they want to contact you. So I don't know um, how they're going to contact you, but um, I'm sure that if, you know, if, if they really want to contact you, they're going to, all right? Uh, everybody has free will. We don't know whether or not they're going to contact you for sure or not, but I can definitely tell that somebody uh, is definitely up in their head about it, and, and they don't know how to approach you. All right. And what else? The world. Yeah, and this person might live, you know, at a distance from you as well, Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, this person may this person may live far away from you. I better leave that there so I can block out the titties. You're not supposed to show those on YouTube. <laughs> I know it's silly, huh? Well, anyway, Pisces, um, let's get you one of these. Um, <clears throat> a warm runes. If you're new, you guys, these are called the a warm runes. And it's not only a language, it's it's an alphabet. And, yeah, they were really popular when Rome occupied Ireland. They're from Ireland. What's going on with Pisces? Okay. Let me see here. Yeah. 
here we go. Okay. So we've got this quite a bit. This particular rune here, Pisces, is called Farron. All right. And this is the alder tree. And Farron invites us to move forward ahead with confidence and courage. She, in, she drives to the root of the problem and brings strength in any dispute or battle. Look at this. I see strength right here. Farron also asks that we examine our motives and make sure that we are steadfastly pursuing our own dharma. Farron also governs prophecy and divination. She encourages us to find balance between our masculine and feminine energies. All right, Pisces. So yeah, and I'll get a, I'll get one of these. Uh, what's going on, with Pisces? Okay, last quarter moon in Leo. Lighten up, lighten up. All right, you are protected, Pisces. So, yeah, you you you're you're divinely protected for sure. All right. All right, Pisces. Well, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. Bye for now.